Previously on the adventures of Nick and Sonny, we flew into the Jackson Hole Airport where we picked up our trusty steed, which we're going to live out of for the next two weeks. Nissan Versa, more like Nissan Versatile, am I right? We then had the best week of our lives where we did a handful of the most beautiful hikes we have ever done and got engaged. And now we continue north to explore America's first national park. The first stop we made was the West Slum Geyser Basin. We weren't sure what to expect from the geyser basins, but West Slum blew our minds. The geysers bubbled right into Yellowstone Lake and got us super excited for the following week. Wow! On our way north, we saw our first trophy elk of the trip. We got some really great shots and we were freaking out. put on quite a show as he is bugling and chasing off a spike horn that was in his territory. The next stop we made was Mud Volcano, where we were instantly blown away by a hot spring that sounded exactly like waves crashing on the ocean. We spent the rest of the day walking the entire rim of the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Since someone is a slight fan of waterfalls, we made sure to stop at every lookout point throughout the canyon. After seeing all the different lookouts, we made sure to save the best for last for what was our favorite overlook in the entire camp. The following morning, we got up before sunrise to beat the crowds at the most famous spot in Yellowstone. And she's going, yes. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on to the hand it was beyond worth it. We 
We spent the rest of the morning exploring Upper Geyser Basin, which was probably our favorite geyser basin in the entire park. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Everything will be better when I find We then took a beautiful hike from Biscuit Basin to Mystic Falls. Despite the most crowds in the park, Midway Geyser Basin blew our minds. It felt like we traveled to a whole nother planet. Grand Prismatic Spring is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. It looked like the spring was literally spewing lava. The following morning, we got up early with plans of heading north to the northern entrance of the park since it was the closest place to take a shower and we were both in desperate need of one. Lucky for us, once again waking up early would pay off with one of the most unbelievable shows we'd ever seen. our heavyweight winner. As we headed north, we made sure to take as many stops as possible along the way. The first stop we made was Roaring Mountain, which had me playing Fire in the Mountain on repeat for the rest of the day. One of our favorite places on the way to Gardner 
was Golden Gate, which has a really cool long history from the beginning days of the park. We took well-deserved showers and had a nice lunch in Gardner, Montana, which reminded us of an old western town. Spent the next two days exploring the Great Lamar Valley, the best part of Yellowstone. We started this with off road tests on our Nissan Versatile. We enjoyed bison grunts and bison jams for two amazing days in Lamar Valley, which was our favorite part of Yellowstone. Second to last night, we sat on the ridge line and watched two grizzlies and a black wolf fight over a bison carcass. A nice feller let us use the scope to catch this grizzly. It made the whole trip because my whole life I've wanted to see a wolf in the wild, and to see it with two other grizzlies was absolutely mind blowing. 